Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'll be playing some more Elden Ring. Uh, the game has just received update 1.09 and the significance of this mainly is it now enables ray tracing finally to the game. So I'll just quickly show you how that looks. Now unfortunately it doesn't specify the level of ray tracing that's involved in terms of the aspects, is it going to be shadows, reflections, ambient occlusion, etc. It just gives you the presets maximum, high, medium and low. Of course I'm going to hit this, put this to maximum. In terms of the rest of the game, everything else is maxed out. I've disabled motion blur, just a personal choice for me. And the global illumination quality already goes to high, as well as these options as well. So it does make the game incredibly more demanding. So. Uh, when you enable this setting, expect performance to dip. It actually gives you a new recommended um, specification while using ray tracing. For example, uh, you'll be needing Windows 11. I don't know why it doesn't say anything about Windows 10. It also says you'll need a Core i7 10700K or AMD Ryzen 7 3800 XT or equivalent or above. Um, 16 gigabytes of system memory and an RTX 3070 Ti, 8 gigabyte on AMD RX 6900 XT, 16GB. And this is just for 1080p high quality ray tracing. So you can only imagine just how much of a performance impact this has. So I'm just going to run through the game as normal. And I can already tell you that the performance hit is massive. I'm, it's at least 30 FPS or more because I've unlocked the performance with my with the FPS unlock mod and um, I should be able to get easily over 110 with the RTX 4090 but I'm just about hovering between 70 and 80 as you can see so yeah things really do take a turn for the worse and um, hopefully someone would have documented just what gets ray traced is it ambient occlusion is it shadows is it reflections um, so we can get some greater detail on actually what's being ray traced. Take these guys out. As you can see, I dropped down to below 60 FPS in the high dense foliage areas. There's a lot of vegetation here. So even the RTX 4090, while being overclocked to 3 GHz, um, can't maintain 60 frames per second when this game is completely maxed out. It just goes to show you just how demanding it is. Yeah, it dropped down to 50 there. That was pretty bad, to be honest. So yeah, it this may not be a welcome upgrade for most people. But I just want to show you guys how it looks. So, I'm in Limgrave at the moment. But I'm just going to try and travel around as quickly as possible. Let's use some magic. Magic doesn't seem to affect performance too much. Let's try using the bow. Two wolves here as well. I mean, it's definitely playable. Elden Ring might not look it, but it's quite a demanding game as it is. So add ray tracing to the mix. Let's just push it to another level. I may have to try to do a 
a visual comparison to see what's what's changed or is it noticeable? And I hate when these guys jump on you, it's annoying. Summon Mimic just for some backup. I know these are low-level guys, but I just thought I'd do it anyway. Okay, let's ride Torrent for a little bit. And when there's not much going on, you do get decent frames. As you can see, I was just preaching 100 there. But normally without ray tracing you'd be up to 130 or even 140 FPS or more. So it's a massive, massive performance here. And I can already see a lot of people may not think it's worth it. Because I can't I can't notice exactly what's changed just by the naked eye. I'll have to do a side by side comparison. And that guy in his stupid flame. Oddly effective while you're mounted. Guys want it to. Okay, we've got another guy on the horse. A little bit too early. Oh man, killed him and his horse. I almost lost track of where I was going then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was going this way. Yeah, definitely by the eye. I can't really notice much of a difference, that's to be said. Still a bit of frame spikes here and there. Wait these guys out, why not? There's a lot of enemies here. It's only going to get worse. Okay, let's do this. That's one of the horsemen down. I hate the magical guys. I thought these guys were dead. So you guys like some magic. See you guys off. I don't think there's any more pickup coming. I've had my fun, let's get out of here. It's 
So I may find a point of grace and wait till night time and see if that affects performance anyway. Maybe I'll wait for early morning so there'll be some more sunshine. Well for surviving that. Remember there being a point of grace around here somewhere actually. And I really hate dragonflies in this game. They're like the most annoying enemies, I swear. It's going over here. It's some kind of battle royale. Let's take out a few of these guys. all of them. So on the whole, I think the RTX 4090 can handle playing this game. Completely matched that with ray tracing, but um, a lot of systems are definitely not gonna are definitely gonna struggle for sure. And they'll probably a lot of people probably opt not to use it. I really hate these long range enemies and they're so annoying. Take this one out first. Yeah, as soon as I get a chance to change the time of day, I will. Take down. Shouldn't be too hard. So tough, are you? Yeah, let's get out of here. Of course, this is a new game plus file. Enemies are never this easy unless you've already leveled up. So I'm just going to change the time of day and see if that affects performance in any way. So I'll wait till, let's just say nightfall. See if that's any more demanding. Still getting around the same FPS, so it doesn't seem like time of day actually has an effect on anything. I don't think what direction to head in. Let's head in this direction. There's a 
lot of frames frame spikes stored in the game unfortunately the more you play the more it caches so the longer you play this game the better your experience will be I think there's a dragon around here you meant to fight I may have already killed it I'm not too sure Ultimately, I don't think ray tracing is going to be a game changer in this game at all. You can actually enable it also for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, but they do say, as that game uses a dynamic resolution on the consoles, that it can affect resolution quality and frame rate. It does warn you about that, so I doubt most people want to play at 30 FPS over 60. Have a look at the uh, reflections. Don't seem to have changed from what I can see. You can see the trees in in the water, but you can't see your rider. Can't see anything of torrent really. So I don't think the water has ray trace reflections. That's a shame. Yeah, so ultimately, from what I can see, the ray tracing update is a little bit underwhelming. And it's a massive, massive performance hit for what looks like very little. But open world games are always difficult to run anyway. And to add ray tracing to the mix is just a recipe for disaster. So anyway, guys, I think I'll leave it there. Just want to show you how the ray tracing update runs on this type of system and of, as you can see um, it's passable but it's not exactly doing anything special so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video